is now in theaters, and it is a movie about a series of interwoven love stories, both set in the past and present, and how they're interwoven in a way where they are connected. This is a movie I was very much so excited for based on the trailer. Not going to lie, I didn't really remember the trailer going into the movie, but in retrospect, I remember the trailer being interesting. And I also like the cast. Lucky Stanfield's in this. I really dig him as an actor. Uh, Isaiah Rea, I, I always think I've seen her and stuff, but truth be told, I really haven't, um, other than The Hate You Give. Um, little, this name's interesting, Lil Ray Howery, I think that's his name. Uh, he was the guy that was in Get Out, which ironically enough, Lucky Stanfield was also in. I think the cast, those three are really good. I really dug the cast in this movie, and I liked how diverse it was. I think that was what was something that really stood out for me in a good way. It's a movie that was refreshing in that regard. Um, I also love the chemistry. I think the chemistry in this movie is so beautiful and so elegant. Um, I really wanted more, honestly, in regards to the main relationship, because I feel like that was something that was so fascinating and it was so natural. Um, I also liked the way it was shot. This movie felt like a Barry Jenkins movie. You know, the guy directed Moonlight and if Beale Street could talk. It felt like that. It felt like a movie that easily, if you had said Barry Jenkins directed it, I would have believed it. Because of the way it's shot, it's such an elegant way. And everything around the um, people, the environment, it's treated as if it's a character. I think it's really fascinating stuff. I liked the jazzy score. I thought that was very fitting. And um, overall, there were some funny moments to be had. But I can't lie, I, you know, even with all those positives, I still was slightly underwhelmed to disappointed. I think that this is a movie that feels a bit misguided in some regards. And I hold, hold up before you shut off this review. Um, I, it comes down to, again, this movie, as I mentioned, the premise, it takes place in the past and present. I don't really find the past stories that fascinating. I found the present stories fascinating, the ones with the police, Stanfield, and I say, Ray. I think that was excellent. I thought when it focused on that, it was awesome. It was really uh, emotionally wrenching. But every time it would go to the past, I felt like I was getting taken out of the movie, especially because tonally, it felt a bit different. And I'm all about being different, but I felt like just it didn't wholly add up. Um, the other thing I wanted to say, and this is something I was kind of surprised about, I liked the pacing of the movie, but I felt like towards the end, it almost felt like the movie wasn't culminating to a lot. It was culminating to just, it ended. It was like, oh, interesting. It was kind of like abrupt, I felt like. Um, other thing I wanted to say, and it's, it's kind of a nitpick at this point, but, excuse me, I really do think that there are certain characters that, although, again, I like the cast, I really do, I think every single cast member did a good job, I do think that some of the characters in this movie are kind of, the genre of romance cliche is 101. You know, there's just certain characters where it's like, it's those friends, that they're funny, they're quirky, um, they give advice. I don't know, I guess I'm fine with it to a certain extent, but I felt like in this movie it felt very apparent, and there wasn't really any hiding it, so I think that was very unfortunate, but... At the end of the day, this is a movie that I can see a lot of people enjoying, and I, I totally get it. It's a beautiful movie. It's competently well made. It's just a movie, I think, in terms of story-wise and, you know, just overall how they dealt with the tone and the pacing. I mean, not the pacing, obviously. The pacing's good. Um, I just think that they could have worked on it a little bit more. And I think that it's a movie that, again, I can see people enjoying it. If someone told me that they loved it, I totally respect that. It's a movie that I don't hate. I just wanted more from it, and unfortunately it wasn't able to provide that for me personally. Now again, film subjective, especially with taste, so that's just, again, my thoughts on it. But nonetheless, the photograph, I'll personally be giving it a 2.5 out of 5 star rating. So yeah, it doesn't quite hit 3 out of 5 stars, it's close, but I would still say go see it. Like, it's a movie that's not bad, and um, you know, it's better than certain movies in theaters. So. Guys, the photograph, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, did you like it, did you not? Let me know your thoughts in the conversation below. Always for the subscription, notification bell, and I'll catch you guys later.